the government should call a general election to be held on the 8th of June. She's not going to uh, call a general election unless she thinks she has a pretty strong hand. Why would you call a general election? Uh, to strengthen your position. Uh, is she seeking a stronger mandate? I have no idea. Um, she clearly, maybe she feels she needs to have a stronger mandate. I think it's a good opportunity for the Labour Party to step up and try and um, give a sensible opposition that um, can change the way we look at politics in the next couple of months. And it just seems like she doesn't really have a plan with Brexit, so hopefully someone can step forward and have a clearer plan. I mean, I think from Theresa May's perspective, it was quite a sensible decision. I thought it probably should have been coming for a while. Um, so yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense to do it, even though she said she wouldn't. I think the public will get over that quite quickly, to be honest. I think that, you know, she's got Labour in a real sense of weakness, point of weakness, with at least with the leadership, and she gives herself a clearer mandate over Brexit, so I think it makes a lot of sense. I think Theresa May's doing it so that, obviously, that she can get a bigger majority of Parliament. Um, so, I don't know, it's just quite a surprise. Who would you like to say you win? I don't know, I, I just turned 18, so this is the first time I'm going to be able to vote. So I think I'd probably go for Lib Dems. To be honest with you, I didn't think she'd go for it. I thought she was... Um, going to concentrate on Brexit and that was uh, her plan but obviously she doesn't feel that she's got the uh, majority to see things through. So there we go. Be interesting to see what happens particularly in Scotland. Be interesting to see how the Scott Nats react to that. You know because I think obviously with all the negotiations that have got to go on I think the important thing is that we're um, we've got a strong government. I'm really happy that she announced a new election because I think, first of all, she doesn't have a mandate as an elected prime minister and it also gives a chance to maybe revoke Brexit which, or change something about it. I think she realises um, that there are a lot of uh, people who are very strong on the Remain side and there will be so for the next couple of years and always questioning her, you know, uh, right to go ahead with what she plans to do and it gives the whole nation another opportunity to vote.